Okay, what we have here is our low energy solar heating kit for pools. So we've got a small children's pool in this instance, which is normally filled with cold water from the tap or um, it may lose its heat throughout the night. Here we've got the black solar heating mat, which consists of a black rubber material, which will absorb heat from the sun whilst it is in full sunlight. Now if the water is not circulating through the mat, you will notice that the mat does get quite warm in full sunlight. That's because the water flow is not passing through the mat and taking the heat away. So if you turn the pump on, the water will circulate through the top manifold, through the rubber, uh, the channels in the rubber mat, back through the bottom manifold and then back into the pool. So it will be continuously picking up some heat throughout the day, circulating it back into the pool. And as the water is going round and round all the time, it will increase the pool temperature by 3 to 5 degrees a day. But of course to circulate the water you need a pump, and this is a special solar pump which has a 12 to 24 volt input. So it can be powered directly off a solar panel. This is a, a 20 watt photovoltaic solar panel which has around sort of 18 to 22 volts output. So the panel is pointed south in the northern hemisphere, normally around the sort of 35 degree angle for power the pump which will then circulate through the mat and the advantage of this system is there's no need for any mains extension leads which could be dangerous to kids if they're near the water. So we're going to unpack from the box we've got the instruction manual which will give you uh, diagrams on how all the pipes connect together and also examples of larger solar pool heating systems. Now taking everything out of the box here we've got the coil of the rubber heating mat which has a plastic manifold at the top and the bottom which distributes the water in uh, through the mat. These are about one square meter each consisting of four rubber strips. The rubber strips can be joined together in the middle to prevent the, the gaps appearing for better appearance although this is not essential and doesn't affect performance. Uh, so in the accessory pack we've got the hose connections for the flow and return. We've also got a pack of metal Jubilee clips which can get a tighter hose connection onto the mat connections to ensure that it is watertight. There's also some spare rubber gaskets there. So here we've got two of the one square meter solar mats out of the box. This is an example of how multiple panels can be joined together. So you could have you know, two, three or four panels joined together to, for a bigger collector if needed. So to, to join the panels together, you just simply take the stop end cap off one of the panels. And each panel will then just slot into each other. The big pipe across the top and the bottom is called a manifold pipe, which distributes the water through the rubber mats. When you, when you clip them together, just make sure that the rubber seal doesn't pop out there to maintain a watertight connection. And we're going to just take off the stop end cap, slot the two together, make sure the seal doesn't pop out and then uh, just give it a little twist to, to lock the manifold together to make sure it doesn't come apart. We've then got the intake uh, or, the, or the flow and return pipe connections. So that's just uh, twist into place turn it round and it will just lock on just to make sure it can't be pulled off again. So that, that's the, the flow, this would be the return in this instance. The water can actually flow either way through the mat, it doesn't make any difference, it just depends on your installation. If you have a, an installation where you would like to tilt the solar panels slightly towards the sun for higher efficiency, then it's always best for the water to flow in through the bottom manifold and up out through the top which helps to prevent air locks and has, generally has a better circulation. Here we're just going to look at using some PTFE tape to get a better watertight connection. If, if tape is not used then sometimes you might get some slight dripping from the connections but you can actually get them completely watertight by using PTFE tape. Normally wrap it sort of 
10 or 15 times around the pipe. And it's like a sort of a, a, a rubbery material which will help to ensure you've got a watertight seal. Here we've actually used the, the clips which came with the pump, but you can use our metal Jubilee clips if needed. Here we're going to show how the solar panel connects up to the pump and the mat arrangement. So we've got the water flow from the pool, goes through the pump. It actually comes into the pump this way and sort of comes out 90 degrees through the uh, side outlet from, from the pump. The water will then circulate through the mat and be returned back to the pool. So here we've got a 20 watt solar panel which is supplied with the kit. The solar panel has got a red and black wire coming out of it, so the red is the positive wire. And we then have a small connector block which connects the solar panel wiring to the pump wiring. Now the, the wiring on the pump has a brown wire which is the positive and a blue wire which is the negative. So the red from the solar panel connects to the brown wire and the black connects to the blue wire on the pump. So finally we're just going to make sure everything's working okay. So we're just going to disconnect the return pipe where the water's come through the mat and it's going back to the pool. So just hold it up above the level of the pool water and say the water's flowing out. If we tilt the solar panel forward to cut the electricity supply, water flow stops, tilt it back again water flow is starting so see that the water is moving through the system fine so now you have a totally solar powered pool heating system